Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Ready Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us, we have the General Electric, model number 7-2800B. It's an AM-FM portable radio that I bought used off eBay for 20 bucks. There's a reason why I bought this radio. I love its style, and it matches a current radio you can still buy. I believe I bought this last year. Texan R206. Now look at that. They look pretty similar. The only thing they left off is the chrome treatments here, but they match the speaker grill, the antenna placement, the handle. Um, I think even the side controls are similar. A little different design here, but uh, yeah, pretty neat. That's why I picked it up. <laughs> I mean, hey, look at that. Even the back. Well, it's a little similar, but you got the same venting here. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I picked it up. I really I was looking for one for a long time and finally found it. I'm glad I did because it's a really good performer. Okay, so let's go over dimensions of this radio. We have four and three quarter inches across. We have a height of seven and three quarters of an inch. A case depth of two inches. And of course, I just showed you size comparison. The R206, they're identical pretty wild. Um, let's see what else I got laying around. I think I got my little CC pocket here. Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> Definitely put perspective on AM, FM portable radios back in the day. Look at that beast. <laughs> and of course, Iron Man. He can do it like no one can. If you're almost right in the window there. It gives you an idea what a deck of cards looks like next to this thing. There you go. All right, cool. So let's talk about features of the 7-2800B. Um, Left-hand side, we got our antenna, which is pretty cool. This antenna extends out to 21 inches. I like this open design, it looks awesome. Uh, you notice we have that kind of knurled finish, which is pretty neat. I like that better than the Texans. They want a little extra bit on that texture, nice. Uh, front, um, you can tell this they use some kind of silver paint, and it's wearing off on this radio. I've seen a lot of these radios, and a lot of them are beat. It's hard to find a new like example, so it took me a long time, but I was able to find it. Uh, that wasn't too bad. Speaker grill, pretty simple. Behind here is approximately a 2.5 to 3-inch speaker. Two-way power. This one bonus with this radio versus the Texan radio. Texan only takes 2D batteries. This actually runs on a 9-volt and uh, AC. Has an AC cord built into it, so mainly used for probably a shop radio. All right, so your dial, <clears throat> excuse me, you'll see um, FM is 88 to 108. We have a log scale right in the middle by the indicator, which I think is fantastic. And then we have the AM, and it looks like it says 550 to 1600 kilohertz. I'm assuming it starts at 530 and probably tops out at 1620. Uh, General Electric symbol there, which is in Qst. I like that. It's kind of neat. Can you see that? It's like kind of indented there. That's pretty awesome. And then, uh, yeah, I tried to clean up as best I could. I had some scratches in the dial. Uh, I could work some more with the wax to clean it up better, but it came out pretty good. It needed a lot of work. So uh, this side here, we have our tuning wheel. As you can see, is that nice bar style tuning, that white indicator, which I do like. I think that's pretty awesome. And then here we have our volume on off switch, more textured. we got the handle on top which says General Electric, sweet, so you know, you don't forget what you're holding. <laughs> it says it here, it says it there, probably says it on the back too, I'm guessing. Yes, it does. So the back of the radio says General Electric, there's your model number, and uh, complies with, and blah, 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 and it says from a fire electrical shock hazard, don't open it up, makes sense because it's AC powered. Uh, here's your earphone jack. We have the band select FM AM, the vented cabinet, here is our battery compartment. I'll show you what that looks like. Let me just kind of open this up. It might be difficult on camera. Boy, it's a tight one. There we go. Okay. And then inside here, another date code. Somebody might be able to decode that. I'm trying to remember if it's that second number means something. This is 1979. I thought that meant the end of the year and a decade. That second letter, the second number, I mean. So I think it's a 79, maybe. 
you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm thinking that is correct. It's made in Hong Kong. This reminds me right around the era of the Super Radio. Here it runs on a 9-volt battery. Uh, here's our AC cord all wrapped up inside. So that's really nice. It's all you know self-contained. The transformer's built in. That is permanently attached. There we go. Get that back on there. And there's where the uh, cord comes out for the AC. And the bottom's nice and flat, so this thing stands up like a tank. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so let's go talk about FM reception. And then we'll dial it in a little bit. So FM reception, uh, FM sensitivity was uh, okay to good. I found 48 stations, which is phenomenal. Um, the AFC circuit is really strong on here. So it's harder to tune in those finer stations. You'll hear them, um, but uh, technically uh, the AFC kicks in really strong and your bigger stations come in. Now, I don't mind that because um, I like hearing stations coming with good reception. And this one does a great job, even with the interference I have around here. Uh, and being in the basement, it did pretty good. Uh, so yeah, okay to good on that. And an FM selectivity was okay to good, of course, because the strong AFC circuit. And then overall, it's a solid AM performer. Sorry, solid analog FM performer, not AM yet. I haven't talked about AM. Um, the FM is like your average analog, you know, the best of the best typically. I haven't found many others that um, in the analog family that beat this one. So yeah, it's right up there with the rest. Not bad at all. So let's go ahead and I'm going to fade to black and we're going to get a sound setup going. Give me one second. Okay, I got my setup going. Let's go ahead and do an audio uh, test with the speaker. I usually use YouTube Sanction Music with a C-Crane FM transmitter too. And let's see what it sounds like. Thank you. 
idea what the audio is like man in person it's punchy it sounds fantastic there's tons of volume for a 9 volt battery i'm kind of shocked i, I didn't expect uh, that kind of performance out of a, a smaller battery like that uh, pretty cool so let's go ahead and turn this off we'll go to an am band scan now interesting thing is we're shooting this during the day so um let me bring out my skywave here we got the C Crane Skywave SSP for my frequency checker. It is 9.34 a.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois. And we'll do a daytime AM band scan on the radio. You know, daytime AM band scans are actually pretty nice to do. I'll give you an idea of the performance of the radio. Um, yeah, you, you don't get the distance station listening, but you get an idea that I was performing during the day because the signals are more stable. Um, but at night, this was doing pretty well. I was picking up tons of stations last night. So just a great AM performer in the evening. I assume we're going to do pretty good during the day here. So let me go ahead and switch that band to AM. Here we go. Go to the bottom of the band, turn this up. We'll tune in and see what we can pick out here. I'll hopefully we'll find a few. Let's move my wire here. All right, let's go. These are always fun. I enjoy doing them. Oh, cool radio. What was I going to mention about this radio? Uh, um, yeah, the speaker was great. I um, enjoyed that. But yeah, finding it was exciting because it would match that text. And I was looking for one that, you know, this, this is the one in particular I was looking for. And finally got it. were completely it was just a crazy deal and then obviously you wanted to beat each other and there's 540 the WNK Jackson Wisconsin with egos that want to make sure they're at the top so you understand all that the direction is definitely Wisconsin amazing company 15 1600 employees cranking out thousands and thousands of, uh, of pillows a day because everybody wants this pillow and everybody loves his story. I believe. Not, not, I, mean, you gotta have a I keep hearing ads for this pillow yeah. thing. Um, story is so and here was yeah, what, uh, I don't I read know. In the New York Post <laughs> last night. There's at least one person attending the state. 560 AM, WIND, Chicago, Indiana, Illinois. The answer. Mike Lindell, CEO of My Pillow. Lindell snagged a ticket at the last minute from House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy. And he's the current situation of large groups of children and families coming through to very dangerous, very understaffed parts of the border, which is actually something unprecedented and arguably is... I think this is 580. Even if illegal immigration more broadly is not. Those of you hanging out on the phone, stay there. We'll get back to you in a second. One more quick comment, Derek. Samantha tweeted regarding... Comments on undocumented immigrants dealing in... 580 is W-I-L-O, Urbana, Illinois. Which is over 150 miles away. Which is over 150 miles away. Sweet. Yeah, I'm not sure what music's going, if that's an ad or if it's music, but I think this is uh, 600. Yeah, so this is 600. This is WMT, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Another uh, distance station over 100 miles. On the other side of that, what was something a glaring item that was left out of his speech? Well, look, he talks about... 620, WTMJ, uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Women employment and... 620, you know, gets a great line there, and it almost looked humble Definitely there for a little bit. That direction? Uh, and a little self-effacing humor that was pretty good. Okay, so Nacho, okay, so Nacho, okay, so Nacho, okay. Llamada número uno, buenos días, gracias. 640. Just <laughs> to what they're saying. No contesto, no vale. Así es, llamada número 3, ¿quieres que ganar? WLFM, Pito, Illinois. 640 AM. If I say it twice, it's because I might have forgot. <laughs> it's more about uh, what, what you look at the OPS against when you start thinking about third time through an order. Yeah, so the sound on the AM is fantastic. Uh, this is a great sports radio, great talk radio. 
Um, wow. This didn't need any recapping. Just needed to be cleaned up. So this is WSCR, the score, Chicago, Illinois, 670 AM. And whatever, you take the handedness out of it. If you're putting more in the head of a pitcher to start thinking, all right, previously that lefty... Okay, this is 720 WGN, Chicago, Illinois. They're excited about the Blackhawks. Okay, music here on 750 WNDZ, Portage, Indiana. Actually playing some English music, and I I had tuned the station in in a while, and um, usually it's like Hispanic, I thought, or a different language, but uh, no, it's sounding pretty good. There, the overnight though just above freezing. Periods of rain tomorrow, high 45, blustery, much colder for Friday. 780 WBM, Chicago. High only in the mid teens. Wind is out of the north northwest at eight right now. The humidity at 92. Oh, yeah, and, and you know, it's not just on the wall, even on the national. This is 820 AM, WCPT, Willow Springs, Illinois. We're not going to shut down the government. Let me let me just state it very clearly. The Republicans Skip half are not the going to allow a cell phone <laughs> So when I get up here, it's going to be tricky. Music here on 850 is uh, WAIT, Crystal Lake, Illinois. Was when Nanny Pelosi stood up, uh, endangering her hip again, and, and she reached her arms out and, and went like a seal. Did this like it was 890, seal. WLS, Chicago. Or, or, and it's supposed to be like she's clapping in the president's ear, but you need to see it from the side. Up. And the like same thing, 20 second pitch clock, and I just, what are you going to be penalized the ball because if I took 22 seconds? Sounds like 920. All right, now you go, now you're walking, Pete. How about uh, this, this thing that they gave me, I, I, I'm just not on the yep. That'll be the intentional walk uh, protest where, you know, we don't like this, so instead of not throwing the ball, we're so going to 920 is W-O-K-Y, the, the, the big badger, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Or use that relevant radio app on your mobile 930 AM, WBKM, Sandwich, Illinois. Joanne in Buda, Texas, thank you so much for your $25. Uh, no, I've heard of it, though. I'm pretty sure there is a group this year that is doing that song. Mm -hmm. Singing? Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, but, uh, we really need to sing. Of course. So, barely coming in there. It's 940 WFAW, Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. So, it's not really... Yeah, it's selectivity. It's actually really good. Sister Station 950 AM, WNTA, Chicago. I do think that there's something interesting going on with Trump's foreign policy. And again, it speaks to this question of him trying to d cultivate a record as a successful incumbent looking at the Madison, Wisconsin. Which is that, you know, people. He wants to perform their best. But not everyone could afford me. I mean, in that little blue pill. But now I can be yours. At forhims.com. 1000 AM, WMBP, Chicago, Illinois. ESPN. Online. And then I get delivered right to your door. So easy. And get this, your first month is just $5. Okay, so it's 10.30, WNVR, Vernon Hills, Illinois. A lot of music lately. I think this is 1050. I'm just going to double check. Nope, I'm going to see. Okay, 1070 WTSO, Madison, Wisconsin. Okay, I don't know if that's 1080. Let's see. 
Yes, it was. 1080 is WNWI, Oakland, Illinois. This is 1110, WNBI. Okay, this is WNWI, Oklahoma. The station I had before must have been WTSO, Madison, Wisconsin, 1070. Okay, there you go. WTSO Mass, Wisconsin. It's tricky because it's getting to the top here. Okay, I know this is 1110, very strong station. WMBI, Chicago, Illinois. Like, jump on us. Well, uh, they're going to. Not necessarily this is 11:30 WISN Milwaukee Wisconsin as soon as this thing goes national which I fear it might now the boys are out there but I'm telling you that in the midst of all of those problems we don't have to go down to WYLL Chicago Illinois don't have to be blown off course we are impacted by those problems but there's a that God gives to meet the challenge of the day and the squirrel's coming and I believe that he's given to us his secret in so that there's WSQR, the Squirrel, Sycamore, Illinois. You guys have heard me say that probably a million of times. If you watch these band scans, um, you might with this uh, video review, so that's cool. Awesome. Okay, this is WRTO, Chicago, Illinois, 1200 AM. This next uh, Hispanic station is 1220, WKRS, Waukegan, Illinois. I think this is 1230. Yep, WCLO, Jamesville, Wisconsin. Twelve forty to BSBC, Chicago, Illinois. I'm leaving in this direction because this is a, a good direction for some of these Wisconsin stations and Chicago stations. Got the southeast direction there, which is nice. This is WBIG, Aurora, Illinois. Twelve eighty. Yep. WBIG. Twelve nineties in the middle there isn't gonna get it. Just barely hearing it. 1290s uh, at WTZ, WZTI, Greenfield, Wisconsin. This is 1300. Oh, yes. We saw the Okay. WIBA in Madison, Wisconsin. 1310. And then this is 1300 WRDZ, LaGrange, Illinois. Right next to it. Where you have a black man. This is 1330, is WNTA, Rockford, Illinois. Uh, so that right there is 
The Beat, 92.3 and 98.9. Mostly 90s, totally awesome. Okay, I'm not sure. Let me look that up. Some music. Hey, liking that though. Okay, it's 1380 WBEL, South Beloit, Illinois. Okay, it might have jumped up to 1400 there. It did. Uh, it's WRJN, Racine, Illinois. Racine, Illinois. You know what? I'm changing that right now. It's Racine, Wisconsin. <laughs> Got my little list here, and I'm just reading it as I go. Yeah, Racine, Wisconsin. Fourteen ten, WRMN, Elgin, Illinois. You know, kind of a life-saving, you know, situation. Intelligence with it and other ways to capture data and really work with that in your business. Go to armortechs.com. That's right here. This is 1440 WROK, Rockford, Illinois. Okay, let's go right to the top. See where it tops out at. 1590 WCGO, Evanston, Illinois. I recognize that. Okay, I think this is 1640. WSJP, Sussex, Wisconsin, barely picking it up. So that's where it tops out at 1640. Cool. Alrighty, let's go ahead and turn this off and do final thoughts. Awesome, yeah. Let's put this uh the skyway is really handy. I love it. So that's the end there, 951 a.m. I love having that as a frequency checker. Not bad. Okay, the GE 7-2800B AM FM portable radio dual power. Awesome. Uh does it get recommended by heck yeah. If you're into classic radios and you see this thing, just buy it. I'll bet you it works. It's like a tank. This thing is built to last. I don't you know, as long as these knobs feel good. If you're at a thrift store, a lot of those thrift stores have a plug-in. Just plug it in, see if it works. That's what I do um, when I pick up a radio. It has an AC cord. I, and if you don't see an outlet, you just ask, and they'll, they'll show you one. Um, great FM reception. I was really impressed because, you know, it's a nice analog experience, especially uh, with the AFC. It's, like I said, it's a strong AFC circuit, but it sounds good. I mean, every time you tune it, you get a solid station. It stays on station. There's no fading. There's no goofiness with it. It locks on, which I, I really like in a radio like this. So, and pretty powerful sounding speaker for that 9-volt battery. So, yep, gets recommended by all day long. It's definitely a keeper. Yeah, I love it. Just, you guys probably recognize the style. I love it. When I was young, when this came out, so I probably didn't appreciate something like this. My grandpa might have had a radio like this, um, but I, I didn't know. You know, he's it's a little radio here in the garage. You know, you don't just stare at it all day long, but it's pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, if you enjoyed the video presentation of the review of the GE 7-2800B, please give me a big like. You guys are awesome. Yep, you you watching the video, you're great. I appreciate it. The supporters are amazing. Um, I enjoy reviewing radios. Uh, I enjoy playing them. So, yeah, I do a little bit of everything on this channel. Uh, and going to that, uh, if you love GE radios, you love classic ones, uh, yeah, I love my super radios. <laughs> so hopefully I'll have more of those coming out too. Uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon if you haven't already. Get notified of future videos, especially ones with classic radios. I love doing the classics. They're one of my favorite parts of this channel. I know more people are excited about, you know, stuff like this. They want this radio. But uh, I'll be honest with you, there's a group of people that only want me to do classic radios. So, yeah, I enjoy doing both. Um, it's, it's a great experience. It's, it's in my, you know, my, my uh, genre of portable radios. So there you go. And third, of course, comment below what you think about this GE 7-2800B. If you can't find one, well, you can always get that Texan I showed you. This one works pretty well. 
Um, I do like the fact that this radio runs on 2D batteries, has about the same reception, though I think the FM is better on this General Electric, but the AM is really good. I think they're about equal um, on the AM band, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, I mean, it's neat. You can still buy a clone. <laughs> See, Texan liked this style so much they cloned it. It'd be cool if they put that silver treatment on there. Maybe I can put that on there too. <laughs> That'd be neat. All right, well, there you go. There's the presentation of the GE 72800B. And hopefully you'll find one. Their store, you know, garage sale, you never know. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>